A question that a lot of people ask me is, what are the chances of me finding a Bitcoin wallet from the challenges? Puzzle. You ask me here on the channel, right? It's easier to win the Mega Sena lottery. It's easier to be struck by lightning seven times in a row. But what exactly are the odds of you taking home those Bitcoins? And that's why I developed this calculator here, which will show you exactly what your chances are. The first thing you're going to do is choose the wallet. It's already set to 66 here, but I'm going to put 71 because 71 is the wallet that everyone is looking for right now. It's the easiest wallet until it's found, and then people will start looking for 72. As people find them, the wallets get harder to find. And here I'm going to enter my search rate. My search rate nowadays is at 500 million keys per second. So I'm going to select mega keys here. I started with 10,000. I started with a really tiny number. Just so you know, take a look at the old videos on the channel. But nowadays with Bitcrack, using my GPU, my RTX 3050, I'm able to reach 500 million keys per second. So I'm just going to click here on calculate and it'll calculate for me. See, this here is a number of keys. It's a really huge number, okay? This is my search that I set here according to my computer's parameters. And here I have how long it would take me to scan the entire hand in seconds, in days, in months, in years, in centuries. In other words, with this little computer of mine, my setup running 500 million keys per second on the wallet. If I left my computer running for 748 centuries, I would definitely find it because I would scan the entire hand. It could be that I find it after 10 minutes because nobody knows where it is in the hand. Or I could be really unlucky and it could take the full 748 centuries. Now what happens if, instead of mega keys, I multiplied by a thousand, if I had a thousand computers like this one, then I'd be running 500 giga keys per second. Then the situation already gets a lot better. Less than a century, right? 74 years, which is actually possible for a person to live and see it happen. Still, that's a long time. Imagine leaving a thousand computers like this one running for 74 years. But if I multiplied by a thousand, if I were running Terra keys per second, then yes, then it would be a breeze. Look, it wouldn't even take, well, a year, right? Not even a month. It would take 27 days. Less than a month, I'd just let it run. That would be a million computers like the one I have here, which isn't a very good computer, but it's a computer. Decent, right? The graphics card is the most important part. That would take, look, almost a month, but you definitely find it. In fact, that's what happened with the wallet, 6968. It was someone who put in a lot of computing power and then, in less than a month, managed to solve it and take the money out. There were also hundreds of thousands of dollars there. So for that person, it was worth it. And for those who asked me to teach how to run this little Bitcoin calculator program from scratch, here's the deal. You'll need a Linux or a Mac. Ah, but I have... Windows, no problem. If you have Windows, you'll just need to install WSL, okay? Take a look at this video. I'll leave here. Hunt, where I show at the beginning of the video, I teach exactly that. How do you install WSL on Windows? If you're already on Linux or Mac, no problem. After that, you'll need Ruby. Ruby is the language we're running here. Here. It already comes with Linux or Mac, but you can install the version we're going to use. This version is version 3.4.5. If I type here, run RVM list, it will show Ruby, 3.4.5. So the first thing you're gonna do in your terminal is install RVM. You're going to search for RVM on Google and it's this one here, Ruby version manager. And inside RVM, it will give you this command for you to run. And it will install Ruby for you, okay? Sorry, it will actually install RVM for you, which is a version manager for Ruby. And then after that, you will install 3.4.5. So the first thing you're going to do is run this here in your terminal. I'm not going to run it because I already have RVM, but when you run this, it will install RVM on your computer. And then once it's properly installed and you run RVM, you should see this here, all the configurations, see? If you run RVM list, it will show the versions of Ruby you have. I only have this one. If you don't have it, you're going to run. RVM install 3.4.5, that's it. This will install Ruby for you. 3.4.5. In my case, it's already installed, see? So it didn't do anything. In your case, if you don't have this version, it will run for a few minutes, install it, and you'll have Ruby. 3.4.5. So you can run it on your computer. After that, you're going to clone the repository. To clone it, you use the command git clone. Or you can go to GitHub, and inside the repository, there's this little code button, see? You can also download the zip file if you don't know how to use git, but it's easy. With git, you just do git clone and pass this here. Either way, both options will copy the code to your computer, okay? Whether with git clone and the repository or by downloading the zip. Once you've put the code on your computer, see? 
here's all the code, here it is on my computer. When I run ls, it shows me the code. Then you're going to run bundle, install, which installs the libraries. It's just like npm install for Node or like pip install for Python. Here on mine, all the libraries are already installed, so it didn't install any new libraries, new ones. And after that, you're going to run the server Rails S. It will run the server for you on port 3000. You'll open port 3000 in your browser, and it'll be there for you. The Bitcoin calculator comes with all the tools you need to calculate the private key, the public key, and to calculate your odds, just like we showed here in today's video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Everything you need is in the description of this video. Leave a like and see you next time.